I'm Angel. I am practicing some yoga poses for a yoga instructor course that I'm doing. And I thought I would record some of it and share with you, potentially. So uh, I've already done my brief little morning meditation segment. And my intention is just to really get into a deeper level of exploration with some of my favorite poses to start with as I continue going through all the poses in this course. Um, and I find it very helpful to record myself both to make content to share with you and hopefully provide some value, but also to review myself and often I uh, often that illuminates either things that I didn't know were there um, that I can work on or things that I do know are there in a new light or give me some new insight to that. So uh, yeah, if you're working on any kind of performance or um, improvement in your body and, and really in any way, I, I recommend recording. All that babble about, let's get to it. Um, the reason I mentioned meditating is because I was sitting down already and I often come out of that seated position into a squat and I like to sometimes just casually explore that. But what I'm going to do now is, is explore it a little bit deeper. Um, and I've already been here talking for a while, so we'll see how deep, but pressing into the heels, using my elbows against my knees to pull the upper body forward. <sighs> Pushing those knees outward, pulling up in the pelvic floor. And then just finding some rest here. I'm having a lot of pain in this arm. I don't think it's from my glucose monitor, which I can remember is back there, not pressing it so much. That's day one with that for me. That's exciting. Anyway, I like to roll this elbow around on the inside of this knee and use that to press and get some extra stretch in through the shoulder go the other way back a little little drumming down on the floor and adjusting the feet a little bit back into parallel lifting the hips and coming into a forward fold and let's scooch back just a little bit I'm just gonna again spend some time here one of my favorite positions I tend to roll to the outside of my feet so I'm gonna be working to bring my balance onto the feet as evenly as possible rooting myself into the center of the earth making sure not to lock those knees and folding from the hips that's below the waist here if I said put your hands on your hips you'd probably put them over here somewhere where I'm trying to fold from is where the legs come in ah, to the hips and I'm gonna relax the belly and see how that increases the stretch and just Basically letting the upper body hang from the lower body. Letting gravity do the unwinding, just relaxing, maybe shaking around a little bit. <sighs> Enjoy a couple heavy sighs. <sighs> like to kind of jiggle a little bit, shake it a little bit very therapeutic in my body. I'm going to move over from the bull pants to the left foot or leg and kind of give it a little twist there. Just gently at first and then increasing that by lifting that left hand using the right hand for torque and support. Gazing up past these fingertips. 
back to that side and then back to the center. Then just hang and release in the belly, release in the back. Still making sure not to lock those knees. Ah. And then coming over to the right, using hands on the foot or leg for torque. And then gently twist. And then increasing that twist, lifting the right hand, gazing up past those fingertips. Relaxing in the belly, bringing out those digestive and reproductive organs. And then coming back to center. Again, just releasing and shaking that out. Practice bending and straightening, but, but not locking the knees. So you can make funny noises like that. Uh, uh, shake it out. Let go of the tongue and the face, the head and the neck, the hair. You can do it to pull on the hair from here. Just add a little stretch. Gently, I mean, not, not hard, not too hard. Ah. And then we'll roll up, pushing from the bottoms of those feet. Again, checking in on the balance, tipping the tailbone, tucking that tailbone under, and just bringing up one vertebrae at a time. Coming to standing, shake all that out. And I'm noticing that my my camera isn't quite set up ideally, so I'm going to go this way. I'm going to come back to a half, do that this way, a half forward fold. So like making a number seven, using the hands for support, but not leaning too much into them, being supported through the upper body. And then on the exhale, coming into a forward fold again. Oh. Releasing that. I'm going to bring the hands out a little bit more and the feet back a little bit. I'm going to bend the knees. Bring those knees down. Let's see if I can come closer so you might be able to hear me. Oh, something prickly. Prickly there. All right, I'm going to come into a cat cow position, bringing the hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. I might have to move this way. Sorry for the confusion. Let's see if I could do it at a slight angle. That would be good, huh? That'd be good. All right, so hands under shoulders, knees under hips, back relatively straight. You want the line extended. You have your natural curves, but most of you are looking for what's called a tabletop position relatively straight and long and then I'm gonna let that belly drop relaxing the belly tipping the tailbone lifting the head pushing through the palms lifting the eyes so you can add the cat the tongue uh, called the cow position sometimes. I'll learn the Sanskrit name for it soon. Part of my studies. Just taking a breath or two to relax into that. And then pushing from the knees and from the through the palms, from the center of the earth, taking the tailbone the other way, rounding the spine pulling up in the belly so the cat's position. And again, I'm going to take a couple breaths here this first time, and then I'm going to begin doing that with the breath in one direction and then reversing the breath. We'll see how it feels in each case. I'm going to exhale, and I'm going to inhale on the cow. I'm a little congested. Yeah. 
back and up in the abdomen and kind of in and out of the chest. Squeezing into this last one, breathing in, lifting, and then exhaling. Take it easy, and come back to neutral to that tabletop position. Let's try that reversed just to feel. I might not be able to do it many times. We'll try at least three where I'm going to inhale on the cat and exhale on the cow. Inhaling the first. that one come back to tabletop and give my wrist a break I'm gonna flip those over just gently not putting all my weight on them as they turn into your little tacks I'm just kind of leaning into that stretch a little bit as you can see we're gonna move this way Getting a nice stretch. Like you're not trying to hurt anything, you're just trying to stretch. I'm gonna stretch them this way just to add a little bit. And bringing the knees forward, coming on to sitting on my heels if that's comfortable. What we call Saison or Hero's Pose. Just gonna enjoy that sitting kind of between letting the heels fall away keeping the toes together move those apart if that's more comfortable or put a block or a pillow under the butt if that's more comfortable just gonna enjoy a feeling for a nice straight spine a nice relaxed posture letting the shoulders relax and <sighs> and release for the shoulders there. Let's stretch out the face, shake out those hands, arms, and then sit for a few breaths, just feeling the energy circulate through the body, connecting to the earth and the sky and the heart. wish you a fantastic day. Don't forget to change the world for the better. You're always changing the world. Try to uh, love yourself a little bit more and enjoy being you. I hope 
that you're feeling fit and feeling free. And whether you are or you aren't, I hope that you know that you're worthy of your own love. And remember to give yourself plenty of that. I thank you for joining me. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. And appreciate it if you check the description for places you can click on and support me. Thank you if you do. Thank you for being you. Thank you for letting me be me. Till next time. Ciao.